All right, what is up, YouTube? It's Kaz PJ back at it with another 2K vid, man. And um, I know I'm late to like reacting to all these 2K uh, news and gameplay. I know it's coming out in a few days, but I thought I'd catch myself up because I decided last minute that I'm gonna buy the game again. And I want to see what it's all about. And I'm praying that it's a good game, bro. That's what we all praying for. So NBA 2K25, my player and my career courtside report. I'm intrigued. I've not watched this video before. I'm a my career guy. I love playing the my career ever since what, fifteen, two K fifteen. I think that's when I started playing. Like, I loved the whole aspect of it. And man, like throughout the past years, they've kind of they haven't succeeded. Through I haven't felt like they've achieved what I've wanted them to do with my career. So let's see if there's any new stuff. And uh, yeah. Enjoy the video, guys. Let's see what's going on. Ah, oh, all my days, my ears, bro. To our next NBA 2K25 bro, what? <laughs> hold on, hold on. I just got murdered in my ears, bro. It's like it sounded like a bomb, a bomb had gone off or something, bro. Seriously. God damn. Today I'm joined by Zach Timmerman, principal producer on NBA 2K25, as well as Mark Little, my career developer. Zach, hold on. I Chris Manning? Is that like um the NFL player's brother? Wait, am I tripping? Wait, no way. Wait, am I actually tripping? Or is that the um Eli Manning, Chain Tem Chain Manning? Uh the NFL player who played for I I'm not that good with NFL names, but I know there was an NFL quarterback named Manning. So is this his brother, Chris Manning? That's crazy, what the hell? Around NBA 2K25, as well as Mark Little, my career developer. Zach, how you doing today? I'm doing well. Let's go. Now there is so much to talk about for NBA 2K25. This is where fans can live out their hoop dreams and build their legacy like never before. Before we get into my career, let's talk about the My Player Builder. When you're building your my player, you're you're not just building a legacy this year. You're also building a dynasty for your team. And we understand this is a very integral moment, a very important decision. And so we put a lot of time into ensuring that the various paths that we have in the builder are going to allow all walks of our gamers to be able to make the player that they want to make. The create your own. It's the builder where you just have so many options, changing your position. Here's the, here's where they start yapping, bro. This is exactly the same though. Do you know what I mean? Like this, I don't know why they even have to re-explain this, right? This Isn't this exactly the same as all the templates from before? Changing your size, you can articulate through every single one of your attributes and get to right where you want to go with your builder. All while you can see the various perks that your player is eventually going to be equipped with. Ultimately, it's the builder where somebody who wants to mess around with the thousands of possibilities can eventually make the build that they want to. We also have our pro build making veterans that have been the game for a long time they're probably going to want to jump in there as well there's also another group that wants to jump in there to try to make a unique build that nobody else in the world has made this sounds really intriguing one thing i loved about last year was community members submitting their builds and you guys implementing them into the game are those returning this year the community builds feature that we had last year was really exciting it was really nice to grab the best build makers that we have out there be able to have them put bro these guys are acting like they even listen to the community bro <laughs> They don't listen. They don't give a damn, bro. They're just trying to get all the money, bro. Like, oh, you can see through his eyes, bro. You can look, just look into his eyes. Look into his eyes. He is capping and yapping, bro. But they're building the game. Ultimately, people, when they would grab these builds, they felt like they could instantly compete and, and play with the best gamers out there. They'll be available season two. We'll be dropping new ones each season with the intention of giving you access to the latest and greatest play styles that are out there. A lot of new features coming with this new builder system, Zach. What else can you share about creating your My Player in 2K25? In each of these builder paths, there's access to more information than we've ever given you before. You'll see which badges you qualify for. You'll see which takeovers you qualify for in our new takeover system. And you'll also be able to see which animations your player will qualify for. Ultimately, it's going to give you a really good feel for whether or not the player is going to move and react the way that you want Wait. to. Is it just me or that clip that that just looked really nice? This one right here. Wait. I love all that, but I. That looked really nice. See which animations your player will qualify for. Ultimately, it's going to give you a really good feel for whether or not the player is going to move and react the way that you want to through the animation system. I love all that, but I. That did look a little bit smoother and a bit more flexible, if you get what I mean. Like it was like body was like moving in that if you get what i'm saying 
Oh. I especially love the new takeover system. Takeover is back in a new way this year. We have 70 takeovers and 14 special abilities. In the builder, you can see which takeovers you qualify for. Once you get into my career, you can swap your takeovers in and out. They all have attribute requirements that determine whether or not you're able to equip these takeovers. Once you get into the game, you're gonna see your takeover meter. There's five levels to your takeover, and it's kind of like five levels of hotness. Once you hit level five, the special ability turns on, and that allows you to kind of dominate the game for a short period of time. Okay, 70 takeovers. What are some of your favorites? I think the one that I've been gravitating towards the most is barbecue chicken. If you're a hoop head, you know what that name means. It means you're about to put somebody in the post and turn them into a rag doll. It boosts throughout the levels of takeover, it boosts your post control, your shot close, and your strength. And then when the special ability turns on, it turns on deep post bag, which essentially allows you to completely dominate the post, again, for a short period of time, in shots, back downs, every post move you can think of. So it's a lot of fun for somebody who likes to play in the post. What can you tell us about badges in 2K25? This year we have 40 badges. They're a lot more all-encompassing than they have been in the past. Each one. Of okay, them has look at this. Ankle Assassin. Interesting. And then Mini Marksman's new. Is that new? Set Shot Specialist. Shifty Shooter Versatile Visionary. Huh. larger impact and so we're really happy with the badge allotment that we have right now we feel like we've hit every part of basketball that's important and ultimately we're accentuating everybody's play style for these badges one other thing i want to talk about is badge progression badge progression is basically how often are you using your badge the more often you use no. the badge the faster it's going oh. to progress ultimately though if you don't use your badge this year you won't regress which oh. our fans are pretty happy thank about. you it sounds like badges are completely reworked this year in 2k25 yeah so this year we introduced a new level of badge called legend it's a level above hall of fame it's pretty difficult to get you have to raise your attributes pretty high but ultimately you know it really allows you to dominate in that area of the game zach i'm excited can't wait to get my hands on the builder thanks for all the new details and for all of you, stay connected to the NBA 2K25 courtside report where you can learn all about the new My Player Builder. Now we know about all the new exciting features in the My Player Builder, but it's time to learn. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't like a really new and exciting features. I feel like they just took away the regression, which is good, and they shouldn't have added that in the first place. But other than that, bro, like, I don't know what that past four minutes just explained to me. About my career. I'm joined by Mark Little. Let's jump right Here we go. I want to see this. I want to see this. NBA 2K25. My career in NBA 2K25 is all about building the greatest dynasty in NBA history. You're my player this year, growing up outside of Chicago. And like his idol, Michael Jordan, he wants to build a dynasty that lasts throughout the ages. You can learn about your my player's history and his path to the NBA through an optional flashback story called The Heart of the Dynasty, which you get to relive four of his most iconic games in his pre-NBA career, including a high school state champion a FIBA U19 World Cup okay an open run with some NBA players where one of the players is not so happy and he got invited and all these games are available for you to play right away you can play them at any point in your career but if you really want to just jump right into your NBA career and start building your dynasty you can do that too so let's talk about creating your own dynasty in my career last year we introduced the GOAT ranking system and in that you're able to see your my player rise up through the ranking I did like that we become the GOAT I did like that this year we're adding a dynasty rankings which is more about your team's performance and less about your personal achievements so we've ranked the nine greatest dynasties in NBA history and as your team does stuff like deep playoff runs winning championships you'll see them rise the dynasty rankings until ultimately they get to the number one spot and displace Michael Jordan's Bulls I like that you came in with goat level hype so what kind of prospect is mp in 2k25 this year bro is his name still mp i miss when they kind of like uh, you know had better names in that i can't lie is not a goat level hype you're gonna have to earn your position in the starting lineup and if the player in front of you is really good it's gonna be even harder this Damn. will definitely be one of your first obstacles as you try to build your dice so it sounds like i gotta earn my place in the starting lineup what does the flow look like in my career is it key games every game key games are back this year and we're really excited about the improvements we've made this year you have a lot of control about which key games you play we've divided the season into two halves and in each half you'll meet with your coach and gm and select a personal goal the personal goal you pick is what determines the key games you play whoa you wait make a name for yourself as one of league's top rookies by putting on show against big other names make your city and organize prior by shutting up the team's top rivals 
Establish your team as a true contender by proving you've got what it takes to win hostile environments. Matchup nightmare. Okay. All right. Matchup system. So if your MT is still at a lower level, you'll match up against lower level NBA players. But if you're a 99, you're going to be matched up against the best of the best. If that's not your thing, you could decide you want to try and win the NBA Cup, or maybe you want to focus on winning road games, or maybe in your rookie season you want to show that you're the top rookie in your class. We've even got some key games that are focused entirely about you posterizing other guys. So the personal goals and key games you get to pick from is completely dependent on the build you made, your team you picked and your current overall. So there's a lot of content depending on the scenario and play style you've picked. And on top of that, if you successfully complete your personal goal and key games, you get an all new dynasty badge. So the dynasty badge dynasty badge helps improve your team and shape the dynasty you're about to make. This sounds exciting. What about other new features in my career that you can talk about? There's a lot more than I'm going to be able to go into here today, but I'll give you a few more of my favorites. All right. So earlier I mentioned you can play a FIBA game in the optional flashback story. Well, you can also play FIBA games in our new revised off-season flow. You'll be able to play FIBA friendlies, FIBA qualifiers, and even a FIBA tournament that you can invite other NBA stars to join. I like that. I think that is pretty cool. That's honestly pretty cool, getting FIBA into it. And speaking of NBA stars, this year we're also adding jersey swaps. So there are optional highlight games on your calendar where you can earn jerseys from players like Jalen Brunson or Victor Wembanyama only if you pass the in-game challenges against their teams. And you're going to want to collect those jerseys because not only can you wear them around the city, but you can also put them on display in your My Court. Okay. My Court? My Court is returning? I can't oh. talk much about My Court, but I'm confirming My Court is back. We know My Court's been a feature that people yes. have been wanting for a long time. And we're very happy to bring it to 2K25. Yes. All right, my court, exciting stuff. I can't wait to start building my dynasty in NBA 2K25 as my career mode. Mark, thanks so much for joining. All right, so I think, honestly, there wasn't too much details in there. Maybe they're just waiting till the game comes out. We'll see everything. But my court, dynasty, um, the badge system seems like it's okay. But I'm just really curious to see how the game feels and... I'm just hoping that they've got a good story. Because I, I love a good story, bro. Like, if if my career actually had a good story, I would be so much more invested. So we'll see if they actually lock in on that. Uh, but the Dynasty, whole, the whole the Dynasty thing is pretty cool, I reckon. I think that's a good step for my career. It's more, it kind of makes you, I think that would make me want to play. That would definitely, and stick to one team, obviously, so you can beat the Bulls. Um... Jordan's Bulls, but um, okay, I'm I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Obviously, mm, you know everyone still has their doubts, but we're all gonna buy it anyway, aren't we? Even you watching, yeah, you're gonna buy it anyway. We're all gonna buy it anyway, bro. Like, <laughs> it's the same cycle every year. Like when you think of oh god, I think last year I bought two K when way further down. I didn't buy it at the start. I think I bought it way further down when it was on sale. I don't remember the last time I bought 2K on day one. Might have been like 2K21 or something. But, um, all right. That is this video, man. I'm praying, bro. Pray, pray. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. So, we'll see. I'm going to be uploading more 2K vids. I'm going to do a whole My Career series and park. I'll probably be uh, streaming on Twitch as well. I haven't decided if I want to stream on YouTube or Twitch for 2K, but, um, I'll see pro Twitch. I'll leave a link to my Twitch in the description below. So make sure you follow that and subscribe to the channel because um it's 2K time guys. It's 2K time. I'm coming. I'm coming. Cav PJ. I'm telling you, Cav PJ is coming.